everyone, welcome back to the BriFi Podcast. This is episode 272. I am so excited to be here. I hope you guys are too. Today in Nifty Nerd News, we have one really, really cool thing I wanted to talk about, and then two just bleh things. No, uh, one's actually really nifty. I thought you guys might find that entertaining. Uh, other than that, of course, if you want to listen to more of the BriFi Podcast, please head over to podbean.com or, you know, Apple Podcast. Um, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, and now Podcoin. Anyways, like I said, that's on the regular podcast side, and we're going to be talking about, bam, Poe Dameron uh, from Marvel Comics, a part of their Star Wars line, which has been really great. I was reading it in the physical format for about three or four issues before I decided to make the switch to digital. Now it's up to issue number 30, but we're going to just talk about maybe the first five issues of the comic over on the regular podcast. But hey, you're here on YouTube, so let's get on with the nifty nerd news for this week so in big news this week it looks like legendary that movie studio that likes to you know do weird things and anime movies well they're signing on brian k vaughn to do a live action gundam series which is really awesome one i've really been getting back into gundam here recently a friend of mine that i work with he was watching it on snapchat and kind of bragging about it and i was like dude I remember watching Gundam Wing Zero growing up. You know, it was on Toonami, so you try to catch it every week. And now it's on Crunchyroll, and I'm just binge-watching the whole thing. And also in my mind, I remember, like, or as I'm watching, I'm like, wow, this is really, you know, set up in a weekly format. Or, like, you know, something that you watch once a week for TV. You know, everything was very TV formatted back then. And I'm not talking about just because instead of being, like, wide like this, it's like that. But because, like, they have, like, breaks in the action where a commercial would come in and each episode begins with, like, two and a half to three minutes of telling you what happened in the last few issues. So it's just kind of funny to see where old anime used to be compared to where new anime is now. But, you know, I've definitely gone off track here. So going back into the Gundam series, really excited. And so when I heard this news, it just kind of, like, I hyped myself up for it, you know. Like, I got really into this. But a lot of people did. And um, Brian K. Vaughn, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's done a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, not even just for Marvel Comics. I think he did he do something for DC. I can't remember. I know what was it? The Runaways for Marvel Comics. He's done a lot more. Uh, but for Image, he's done like Why the Last Man, Saga. You know, he does really great storytelling as far as I'm concerned. And just those two comics alone, Why the Last Man and Saga, are like like arguably. At, on everyone's top 10 comic book lists maybe not everyone but tons of people have it i know those fall on my top 10 comics because they're just great it's great storytelling great it's just compelling action and to have him do a gundam movie has me really excited for what they could do with this movie then again i mean live action anime stuff doesn't always work out in everyone's favor but i'm hopeful with for this i think gundam is a series like you look at what was it pacific rim or godzilla that kind of stuff i feel like gundam can fall into those types of storylines uh maybe i don't know maybe take itself a little less seriously who knows but i think it could be a lot of fun to be fair though i've never really watched pacific rim so i don't know if that's even a really good basis to put it on but that's the closest thing that i could think of of giant mechanized robots fighting and gundam same thing, right? <laughs> anyway. In other news, we've talked about Suicide Squad before, how Will Smith's not coming back, how they might potentially be getting a new character now to play uh, Deathstroke. Deadshot. Sorry, <laughs> the thing about that. A new character to play Deadshot in the movie. But they've also announced uh, a possibility of seeing Keen Shark and other, like, from what... Um, James Gunn says just lesser known characters and bring them to the forefront but King Shark being one of the main ones and a lot of people think that's pretty badass to be fair I don't really know King Shark at all which is kind of what I always say about anything so it kind of gives me that little buffer of like Brian doesn't know what he's talking about but I told you I don't know what I'm talking about so you can't hold me to it um but a lot of people online what I, what as far as I can tell really dig the character of King Shark and I Honestly, I don't care. You know, James Gunn has taken with the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, one I never heard of because of where I was in the comics. I just never got that deep. I didn't even know the Guardians of the Galaxy were a thing until the movies and took all these characters 
and made them super fun and enjoyable and made me care about them. And if he can do that with the Suicide Squad, I think, you know, you got a good movie on your hands. The first movie gave me a character that I wanted to root for and wanted to care about, even though he was a, you know, they're all bad people, don't get me wrong, but it was the uh, the flame guy, you know, and how he was kind of like on... Re- like on this like journey of redemption for killing his family and stuff like that. And then he finally gets to that point where he finds a new family and he's going to protect his family. And he realizes that, you know, he's found the good in his life that he wants to do. And then he dies. <laughs> and now I had the one character that I really wrapped my head around and really grasped onto in that movie. They killed off, which sucks. So I'm hoping James Gunn comes in Gives me more characters to care about that I love and want to see succeed and, you know, make Suicide, make suicide Squad great again is what I really want uh, uh, James Gunn to do. And hopefully they can do that. Maybe King Shark's the guy, you know. Maybe he's the Drax of the Suicide Squad that we've all been waiting for. Who knows? Anyway, oop, hit my camera stand. Sorry about that. And the last bit of weird, geeky, strange news that I wanted to share with you guys is that Taco Bell is giving one man... A, I say a lifetime, I mean it probably is, but one year's supply of a free Taco Bell for, you know, a whole year, which I, to me is like a lifetime supply because after a year of Taco Bell, I'm either dead or I never want to eat Taco Bell ever again in my life. If you guys don't remember the story, there was this guy up in Oregon during one of the recent snowstorms that they've had sweep across the country who got trapped in the snow for like five days. And well... And one of the things that he said like helped him survive it was him and his dog. And one of the things that he said helped him to survive was like three packets of fire sauce, or, like hot sauce from Taco Bell. Like he would eat one of them just to kind of give him some flavor or something to, I don't know, wake him up or something. And he said along with that, with periodically starting his car to warm him and his dog up and then turning it off again. And that's how he survived for like, I think it was five days out in the snow until someone found him, which is in- incredible. It, I don't know. He, ha- I feel like, well, he had plenty of water around him. I guess you can eat snow and be perfectly fine with that. But like eating the taco sauce ketchup, like or ketchup, taco sauce ketchup. What the hell is that? But eating that and just admitting to it, that is bravery all in its own. No, <laughs> but Taco Bell caught wind of this. This thing got totally viral. And I saw on Reddit, like, getting huge, huge on Reddit. And um, I guess that's kind of what forced Taco Bell to make this decision. But then again, you know, I mean, they sell burritos for 89 cents. So it's not like they're taking a big loss here. Because I guess they're assuming the same thing I'm doing. How much Taco Bell can one man possibly eat? <laughs> and especially in a year, you know. Uh, but it, it's it's a pretty neat story. It's pretty fun. If you guys check it out. Um, oh, what is the dude's name? Uh, can't even tell you. I just know the guys from Oregon. Just look like just look up Oregon man survives on Taco Bell hot sauce and you will find the story. I thought it was really interesting. I thought I'd just tell it to you guys and just let you know anywhere you go, anything you do, bring Taco Bell uh, hot sauce packets. And if you're in trouble, eat them and then tell everyone that you ate them when you were in trouble. And then you'll get free Taco Bell. That's all I'm that's all I'm saying. That's why, you know, carrying Sonic cups with me. There's actually nothing in this. But if I pretend there's something in this, and then when something goes down, I'm like, I got nervous, so I drank my Sonic drink. Maybe I get free Sonic for life, man. And then I get hooking myself up with that sweet tea with peach and raspberry every day. Every day. Like that. No. Okay. I'll never do that again if we never speak about what I just did. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the Nifty Nerd News this week. Thank you for checking it out here on YouTube. Now, if you want to listen to the rest of the podcast, head over, like I said, to Podbean, to Apple Podcasts, to Stitcher Radio, to Podcoin, to Spotify. All great places to listen to the podcast from. And also coming up um, later in the year, mid-year, not later in the year, about maybe a couple months from now, is Comic Palooza. That's going to be happening in May? May. May. (laughs) <laughs> I think so, but um, right now nothing is set in stone. Hopefully I'm going to have some great news for y'all in the next few weeks. Uh, so just hang on to that. Just pin that for later and we'll talk about that. But like I said, let's go over to uh, listen to the rest of the podcast and we'll check you guys out later on YouTube. Bye. Bye.